have some award-winning DVDs that are available for parents on that website. Can you tell us what those are about? Definitely. Well, it's so interesting because I used to live in Boulder, Colorado, but about seven years ago, my wife and I moved out to New Hampshire. And what it made me realize was there's so many families who geographically live in places like northern New Hampshire where there is no access to a music therapist. And I just thought, okay, what's the best thing I can put together for a parent or a therapist or educator who wants to learn how to use some music to help children with special needs work on there and practice their developmental goals in a home-based setting or maybe in a school-based setting. So I went all out, I hired a film crew, I put together this cool DVD of me and five kids, um, three of whom have special needs, and we did this all-day marathon shoot. It was unbelievable. And we just went through lots of my therapy songs, and I have all these big dramatic pauses, so if a child's watching at home with their parent, they get the space and the time to fill in greetings or words or doing some sign language or using their electronic AAC device. So there's so many opportunities for motor development, speech communication and social skill development all within these fun songs. And then it comes with a CD and then three sets of percussive instruments so the whole family can play along. It's, it's really cool. And they've won multiple awards so uh, people can be confident that they're going to get something that's really very fun and exciting. Now, Ryan, I mentioned before the break that sometimes, you know, an autism parent hears about these kinds of therapies and it sounds so great. Right. Like, we yeah. want to start yeah. this, but there's fear in our <laughs> hearts that our kids aren't going to be able to do it, that they won't be able to sit still, that they're, you know, what if they have a meltdown while they're mm -hmm. doing therapy with you? This is all stuff that you're used to. What kinds of things <laughs> do you, how do you handle it? So I touched upon this a little bit before, but first of all, I like to just zip it. You know, I like to just shut up and really be present with the child without talking at them. Again, especially when working with kids with not, who are nonverbal, I feel like they get bombarded by language and words all day long. And if they're going into a fight, flight, or freeze state, the last thing that's really gonna help them out is talking. So immediately, I let the music speak. And I play gentle, soft music. I'm, I might do even some deep pressure via body percussion. I find that that's actually been really effective. We've got an amazing video on my video blog too about that with a child who's going into a meltdown and all of a sudden I take these really soft drum mallets and I start drumming on my legs and then drumming on his legs mm -hmm. and he's getting the rhythm and the deep pressure and the connection and contact and it pulled him right out of that state and then we are back working on those speech and communication goals. So it all depends on the child obviously but I find a combination of not talking and playing calming music and doing sensory based activities that might involve something like deep pressure work really works wonderfully. That sounds like something we could all do with our children and, and learn from that experience you've had is it some are parents oftentimes able to transfer some of the skills that their children learn and some of the methods you teach and do them at home oh definitely and that's that's the heart and soul of my video blog too i was like okay i want to give people who are non-musicians great tools that they can easily learn all my songs everything that i teach people it's super easy to remember super easy to use i keep it really basic and i show it you know, I don't just say it, I show it. So what I think is really cool about a lot of these videos is you can see me doing it. I think that helps a lot of people learn. I think in general, most of us really like a visual representation of what we're trying to learn. So that seems to be very helpful for people as well. Well, Ryan, we think you do incredible work. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, and once thanks. again, people can reach you at therhythmtree.com. And, and if they video. go there, if they go there, they can get that video blog series that you were talking about, the 10 great ways you can use music to help individuals with special needs. Correct? Yeah, definitely. I mean, my video blog is just on there. It's open. There's like 11 pages of videos. There's so much there. But if people want even more and they sign up for my newsletter, they get some exclusive videos that are emailed to them. They'll get a, vi you know, a five minute video every three or four days that touches upon a fun song or activity for speech and communication, transitions, anxiety, social skill development, gross motor development, all sorts of great stuff for them. 
wonderful it's a great site i checked it out and i highly recommend it